Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting really to episode 23 of Wonderful Precure. BTW, I was trying to watch this yesterday. I was three minutes in, and unfortunately, um, my power went out. We had a little semi-thunderstorm hurricane come in too, so I wasn't able to record anything. So, trying to get everything all done today, because I have a lot of issues to do, and, you know, I have to go back to work tomorrow. But, other than that, let's go ahead and get started in a three, two, one, go. And then here comes my own puppy. <laughs> yes, Cody, what's up? Come here. Oh, big boy. Hi, big boy. Hi. <gasps> <laughs> See, Cody always just wants my attention when I'm recording. And such. literally, he's just like, no, no, no. I know you got your subs and everything and your fans, but I am important. Please, please pet me. Please cuddle me. Yeah. Like, he gets upset when, if I record and he's not in my room, the dog will cry. The dog will literally, um, sit outside my door because he's not in my room. Because he just wants to be around me. And Yana and Kiana were like that, too. But Yana, Yana always liked, Yana liked to sit in my lap. Kiana, it depends on the situation, but Yana always, because Yana and Kiana and Cody, because Yana and Kiana literally, well, Cody is Yana and Kiana reincarnated, duh. But, um, they lap dogs. Always want to be in someone's lap and cuddle. Yeah. You gonna let me watch the episode? <laughs> yeah, cause mommy needs to catch up on a lot of ish today. Yuki right we'd make one No!
hold on. Wait, 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 wait. She looks so pretty, though. But hold up. Hold up. Yuki transformed into a girl in front of her mom. And, and we're okay with this? Her mom was just like, oh, okay. <laughs> the kitty just transformed into a human. Okay, normal Tuesday. Girl. Yeah, we're just not phased by it. Okay. Yeah, the parents. The parents of the season. Oh, yeah, the talking cat and talking dog. We're cool with this. Right? Hold on, my you. Damn, girl. Yeah, but he's not ready to just, you know, tell her. I mean, you don't know unless you ask, but... I get that. <laughs> that would have been a really perfect moment. It's just a nice game. You were like, ah, goodbye, let's go. But no, it's okay. It's still cute. We can't talk about it right now. We'll talk about it later. Okay. Right? I mean, <laughs> that already came true, too. Well, 
Oh yeah, but romance is also on the thing too, so just go ahead and do it! Mm-hmm. <laughs> of course. tells me that like Komogi's wish is going to be like to stay like this forever and to always be able to turn into a human and just be with Iroha for the rest of our life but we all know that by the end of this <laughs> um of course they're not going to be able to turn back into humans And oh, and uh, now we're going into fruits basket territory. Oh, that's so sweet. So, of course, the wolf is lonely and wants someone to, like, be around it. Mm -hmm. It's almost like a cry for help. They became extinct. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. In your dream, yes. Wasn't expecting a bird. I was really more or less expecting a freaking wolf because, duh.
It's going to take them all the way up into the woods, right? This shot, that shot that they just did, that would have been perfect for Star Twinkle. The things that you get to see later on in other series. Oh, it's not going to be that easy. Mm -hmm. I know. The fact that Komogi and Rohan was running their hair like the lecture. <laughs> Be like, oh snap, she about to have, we about to have a long conversation. You know like when your parent gives you a long by lecture? That's how it felt. Oh my god. The baby. In a good way though. Right, oh my god. Oh. Seriously? That's nuts. So now are we finally seeing the bad guy in this next episode?
freaking love her so much. Just, it's a puppy. Finally, are we getting something? That's all you're giving me. Okay. So a wolf is a big bad this season. Okay. I I'm not mad at that. That gives feels somewhat towards to what is it? Uh, smile in a way? Okay. I can now finally watch this freaking open ending in all its freaking glory. Mind you, fr Saturday night when this episode came out, I literally was like, I only want to see like a peep. And such, because a lot of people think that, mm, we'll talk about that again, hold on. It's cute, I'll tell you that. And from what I saw on Twitter, we're getting like two different versions. We're getting one version with, you know, wonderful and uh, friendly. And then, of course, Lillian and Yami, which is good. It gives me like Go Princess vibes feels with that. So 10 out of 10 would recommend. That was cute. Uh, uh, like unicorn? Because that's the vibe I'm getting. We getting that vibes too? Okay. Here, here's my little thing. Um on the ending I don't know why especially when I looked at it I'm getting like Aikatsu vibes with it and I haven't said that in a long time with this show because sometimes with this series you can get like ending wise you're either getting like um if I can say other ones you could say Pretty Rhythm, Pretty Pata, Aikatsu, maybe some Love Live here and there but I do like it. It, it it's gonna grow on me it's just gonna take a minute because I'm so used to the previous um ending now another thing that came out i think over the weekend for this episode as well is like the hint or possibility of satoru possibly being the final cure saying that that is not true now and such because apparently one of the uh i think the toy cons that they have in japan just as much as we get ones here in america for them to unveil like all these new toys and interesting things that are come out for like not only kids but teenagers and anything else like throughout the next couple of years or year um i'm guessing from what i saw on twitter nothing really did pop up so that could indicate that yeah unfortunately as much as a lot of us want to have another boy in it it's possibly not going to happen I'm still going to keep my mind on him being a final cure very much open because I would love to see once again and continue that tradition because making it, it's it's a norm now. That's the thing. Everything started with your wings. So it's like continue that tradition and keep going and such. But I do get it where some people are like, I, I liked wing, but i rather just, you know, have it be girls. But I'm just like, I, I'm ready to see more boys get that potential of becoming a cure just as much as a girl but i digress the episode was really sweet i mean yeah i kind of wish i watched it on saturday with every other thing that's been happening in my life these last couple of weeks these last two weeks in a nutshell good and bad but no this was a really cute wholesome episode i love the fact that you know we're technically now finally seeing like a big bad which is the wolf i wonder how that is gonna go because it's something tells me with their teacher talking about the animal shrine those are all the kidadine animals and 
the wolf essentially is alone for a reason. He, as we know, he's extinct. Now, there could be more clarity on this because of the fact is we're only on episode 23. So we're, we're in the main story, but it feels like next week we're continuing on to that. So maybe, you know, maybe I might know something about the wolf. I'm not 100% sure on that. We just gotta wait until Saturday and such. But still, very cute and wholesome episode. Love the fact that, you know, Sasuke and Roja had like their cute little adorable lovey dovey moment. Even though they're not a couple. But I love how Mayu is just trying to also be a wing woman. It's so adorable. And I better see more, like, continuing before this show ends. So, not only that, I need these two together by the end of the series. I'm just saying. You can do it, show. Yes, you can. There's nothing wrong with it. Just do it. Other than that, guys, that is my action view towards episode 23 of Wonderful Pretty Cure. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all on Saturday because I am going to try to get it out Saturday instead of Sunday <clears throat> for episode 24. But until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye.